Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some pretzels. These are the Dots Homestyle Pretzels. And I have the Snyders of Hanover. These are the Twisted Pretzel Sticks, but they're seasoned. So the, uh, they were both bought at Meyer. The Dots were $5.99 for a 16 ounce bag. The Snyders of Hanover were $2.50. For a 12 ounce bag. Okay, so the Dots are uh, a lot more expensive, but I, I've had requests um, to review these before. And where somebody said, have you ever even tried them? I said, no. And then I've had other people say that these are different than your typical pretzels. Yeah. And once you start eating them, you won't want to stop. So beware. Uh, they're supposed to be very, very good. But we're not comparing them because one of them's regular and one of them's seasoned. Yeah, we we're not comparing. We, yeah, these just say new. That's why we. That's why we we bought them. These right. say new. We they were just pretzels and pretzels, so we decided to put them in the same video. Yeah, this is not a comparison. Um, so these are made in uh, North Dakota. It says Pride of Dakota, North Dakota Originals. Um, and they do have like a Southwest flavor, I think, out now. But I, I did not see those in no, my sure uh, It says 16 servings are in the container. 18 pieces, 28 grams is 130 calories. And this is in a nice resealable bag. Mm, I like that. Uh, yes, because you don't get that with pretzels. Usually. Unless you, unless you buy the tub. Ooh, that you, smells good. It smells buttery. It does smell very buttery. Where you put screw the lid back on them. <laughs> That's a good looking pretzel. Very, very buttery. Like, yeah. Do you get a little bit of an oniony flavor? My goodness. I mean, it's all butter. It's like Paula Dean made these in her kitchen. My goodness. No, I guess I'm just imagining that, but that kind of garlic flavor or onion powder flavor. It says dried onion. Okay, but well, I thought I was getting a little bit of an onion flavor. But I'm telling you. You're, it's mostly butter. Those are fantastic. And it's, yes, they taste like they've been soaked in butter overnight. And then you, you're, you're eating. It seems like when you pick that up that it should have butter dripping from it. Really. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very good. And they are different than any other pretzel. They're yeah. almost like a breadstick. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like a breadstick that you you dipped in butter and and you can just when you're eating these you can picture the butter dripping off the breadstick because that's how soaked in it is to yeah. that that i mean that's completely you're right that's a different experience mm -hmm. and people could, are right about that and i could sit there and just keep eating them oh my gosh yes how many do you get for, i've never been like that with pretzels to where it's like oh i want to get me some pretzels no because they usually dry your mouth out but these these would be great. Can you imagine if they had these in like mini versions and you could put them in Chex Mix? No, that would be good. Because we like to make homemade Chex Mix. Those would be excellent homemade Chex they Mix. Would. But I don't, you, Chex Mix you typically pick like smaller things. Um, so I wish they would make them half well, the size. Uh, how many, what do you get for? It's 18. 18 for 130. For 130. Yeah. It's good. That's a good price. I could portion out 18 of those. In I think so. I, well, I see, I would double up. I would go for... That's what I'm eating. If I'm eating it by itself, I'll probably double up. If I'm eating it with something like a sandwich mm -hmm. or something, I would just get... You them. could get the 18, but if you're eating it by itself, yeah, yeah I, would, double I would double up. Uh, those are delicious. Yeah, it's very good. So whoever recommended them, thank, thank you. Thank you. Because they're yeah. very, very good. Yeah, because I had seen them for a while at my... Yeah, and we just always looked like regular pretzels to us. And I'm thinking we saw them in Rural King. Maybe. But they did not have the new Southwest style. Yeah. Um, so these are the Snyders of Hanover Twisted Pretzel Sticks seasoned with a dash of onion, garlic, and pepper. This one is uh, 15 sticks for 120 calories. Bold flavor, light crunch. Set your taste buds spinning. Snyders of Hanover Twisted Pretzel Sticks are baked with a swirl of buttery flavor and dusted with craveable savory spices. Every crunch will bring a new twist to snack time. Well, now, I'm thinking the Snyder's are, um, they have a buttery um, twist too. They have one that's butter, but it's not as buttery as those, I don't think. Now, this one is not a refillable bag. But now, they look, they're, it's amazing we got twist and twist. Yeah, they're very similar in size. Maybe a little smaller. Even though we're not comparing them, yeah. You know, 
That's pretty buttery too. They're buttery, but they're drier. I know we're not comparing them. <laughs> but it's hard not to. Um, I like the seasonings in that. Mm -hmm. I can season it's nice. But do you get a drying out of your mouth more with the Snyder's? Um, yes, but I still like the seasonings. Uh, that seasoning, I can tell you what that tastes like to me. You know the Hidden Valley Ranch packet? No. That's what that tastes like. Yeah, it's not as sharp as that, but it. But yeah. I do, yeah. When you buy buy the Hidden Valley Ranch and the 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 powder and you make it into a dip. Yeah. That's exactly what that tastes like. Yeah. It's it's very it's a very good flavor. Um, but. I think either one of these would be good. Yes. But if, unless you're looking for something seasoned, then I would get that. Yeah, I, I absolutely love these. I think they're delicious. Yeah, I don't want to knock Snyder's of Hanover at all because I no, think they're those very, very are good. good. And they do have a buttery flavor. They do. Uh, the butter, They're not as buttery as these, but I think because we reviewed the seasons, that's what you're getting out of that is yeah. those seasoning. And that's good. I mean, that's why you're buying them. You're buying them to be seasoned. So I think they did a really good job with theirs too. But you know, I've had like two or three of those. The um, the aftertaste I have right now from the Snyder's is butter. Mm -hmm. That's what I still, so they're both buttery pretzels. Mm -hmm. I just think the Snyder's are just a little drier. I do too, but I think it's because of those seasonings. It could very well be. Yeah. yeah. I think anytime you put seasoning on something that's going to dry your mouth out yeah. a little bit. So I think either one of these are, are definitely worth Very good. Out. Yeah, they really are good. Yeah, if you see those Snyder's, I, I would I would try those too if you already like those. Yeah. Um, and definitely try these. Oh yeah, you put those in a bowl for, for a party, man. They're, they're going to be gone. Yes, they are. They truly Because <laughs> people are, are going to eat a couple of them and go, oh, I thought they were just regular pretzels. And, and they're, they're not regular pretzels. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.